Good morning here in Japan, Tokyo, baby. It's day number four here in Japan. We're still here in Tokyo. Today, we're gonna be heading to Osaka. We're gonna be using a Shinkansen, if you don't know what that is. It's a bullet train. It's crazy, the fact that it actually goes up to speeds up to 300 kilometers an hour. That is not normal. This bullet train will take us to Osaka, which is about 500 plus kilometers in just two hours or so. So bro, you can imagine how fast this bloody thing is. It's gonna be the first time I experience a bullet train, so I can't wait. I'm very excited. If you don't know, I came from Sydney, Australia. Uh, it was about a nine hour flight. The more and more I spend in this beautiful country, the more I'm amazed with the things that they have. Their technology is just so crazy. For example, yesterday on the train, under the seats where you put your legs, they have heaters there as well, as well as the top, especially since it's very cold here in Japan. The heaters under the seats and on the roof are just... And also, I found out yesterday that in the bathrooms, when you take a shower, the whole mirror fogs up except the selfie mirror. Japan technology is on another level. Bathroom mirrors fog up except the selfie mirror. The technology here is so advanced, like we already know about the crazy toilets that they got, the bidets. If you haven't seen that, go watch my day one vlog here in Japan. The vending machines here, there's millions, I'm not even joking, there's literally millions of vending machines here in Japan. Literally every one meter that you walk, you will find the vending machine. Every toilet, at every toilet, every hotel, every train station has it. You can literally just walk a few steps, you got a vending machine here, you got another vending machine here. And each vending machine has different things. Some have drinks, some have food, some have meat. I'm gonna go back to my hotel and enjoy the breakfast buffet that they got there and then we're going to be heading to Osaka baby only one, let's go only one only one only one only one patience i'm running 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 out of patience there's gotta be somebody who can save me gotta be someone who feels the same uh -huh. Cause I've been all by myself Got nobody else to help ease my mind I feel so lonely So goddamn lonely Can't be the only The only one No, I can't be the Uh, winter here in Japan is it is currently five degrees Celsius here a nice chilly morning can't stress enough how much the Google Translate application has helped me in this trip I'm telling you it's an absolute lifesaver I've been in certain situations where I've spoken to people that literally do not speak any form of English I just whipped up my app my Google Translate app and I told them to speak into the microphone and then it would translate from Japanese to English and I was like oh wow I'm telling you if I didn't have that app I would be so screwed here in Japan so I highly, highly recommend you download a translation app when you come here, unless you can speak Japanese, of course, but I'm telling you, it's not normal. Also, you can just show your phone on anything that's in Japanese and it'll give you a live translation. So if you want to scan any food or any signs or any tickets that you don't understand and just face it to whatever you want to translate and it'll give you a live translation. The people here are so friendly. They're so respectful. They're so polite, even in trains. When you walk up the escalator, everyone's all in one side. Apparently, Osaka is very famous for their street food. Be spending a week there. Apparently it's the street food capital of Japan So I'm very excited to try that out And show you guys as well Saka baby, we're in a saga baby. Can't you tell? 
finally arrived in our Airbnb. First impressions of Osaka, I'm loving it. Compared to Tokyo, Tokyo I feel like it's more city life, more hustle and bustle. Here it's more calm. There's a lot more traditional stuff that I see just walking to my Airbnb. First impressions, it's looking very good. It's looking very good. Today I'm hoping to try proper Japanese food. Bro, Google Maps has been such a lifesaver this trip. There's a function in Google Maps where you can press live view. So when you're actually walking around, you just scan your surroundings and it gives you a live view of where you are. Put your phone up in front of a building and it'll literally tell you inside the actual app where you go. So you don't void off into other areas. I'm telling you, it saved me so much time. Bro. First graffiti I've seen in Japan. Naughty, naughty boys. That ain't the smallest truck you've ever seen in your life. Look at that beautiful building right there. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to this restaurant here, bro. I looked at the reviews and the photos of the food. It looks absolutely not normal. This restaurant's called Kabunsu. Oh my God, the food on the internet looks amazing, bro. <laughs> What is it? Bro, that was absolutely amazing, bro. I'm telling you, oh my God, my taste buds right now. Oh, bro, it's like I had a party in my mouth. That's what she said. But anyway, bro, I forgot to record the first one I was eating, which was like the egg omelette, because I was so hungry, I forgot to start recording. Spewing that I didn't record that part, because that part was the best. That omelette was, oh, bro, it was so nice. I've never tasted an omelette like it. It was, it was tomatoes and egg omelette, but I don't know the flavors here. Oh. I don't know how to explain it. It was like smoky, it was like smoky barbecue omelette with oh, the flavors. It was just, and the next thing we had cubes, steak cubes, bro. That was, that was nice. The sauce that he cooked it with and a little bit of bean sprouts, I think it was. It was so nice, little pieces, but it was nicely well done and flavors were cracker, bro. And then, and then came out with some uh, pieces of shrimp or prawn. It tasted like honey soy shrimp or something, but the way he cooked it and he fried it, it was so nice. And he also had this little um, crushed prawn. It looked like the skeleton of the prawn someone freaking ran it over fully flat i love prawn Look, prawn is one of my favorite seafood oh the flavors in that prawn oh my god anyway and then we got tofu steak i'm not really a fan of tofu i'm not gonna lie i don't really like tofu but i actually didn't mind it to be honest and the bonita flakes he had on top of the tofu oh, oh i love bonita flakes and on that tofu steak it was not bad i'm not gonna lie we had some um omelet pancake or whatever oh that was nice it had like a little bean sprouts or something and some egg omelet or something i don't know what it was but oh it was Bro, overall, I'm telling you, for my first proper meal in Japan, oh, I'm absolutely stoked, bro. I'm happy. I'm excited for many, many meals to try out, bro. So that meal was for a total of three people. It came up to 5,830 yen. We'll give that place a good, good eight and a half out of ten. First proper place to try. It's coming off with a good start. Absolutely excited to try out more food. Oh, I'm fat. I love food. I just want to eat more food. I just want to eat more food, bro.